Okay, I've got a new tip. I've got a new tip. It is time to pool. Are you trying to figure out how to create social media posts, but you're still kind of stuck with using ChatGPT or you're like, I don't know what to ask. I'm not quite sure. Guess what? You can add an extension on Chrome. Yeah, kind of cool. And I think Firefox, depending on which one you use, I use Chrome. So let's do it. Here's what I want you to do first. I want you to add keywords everywhere to Chrome. So simply just go to keywordseverywhere.com and then install for Chrome. Then what I want you to do is to go back to ChatGPT, well, OpenAI, right? Chat.openai.com. And then I want you to simply click refresh and look what you're gonna get. Bottom left-hand corner, you've got templates. When I tell you it can't get any easier than this, it can't get any easier than this. So here we go as I try to get this eyelash out of my eye. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click templates. When you click templates, you have keyword everywhere, chat GPT prompt templates. When you hear the word prompt, think of it as keywords everywhere is helping you with what you need to type in to chat GPT to help you get the content that you want. Now, you, do you have to use this? No, but it could be a great way for you to start because you're trying to figure out what you need to build. So watch this. When you choose category, you can copyright. So copywriting, you've got marketing, search engine optimization, and social media. So since most of you are like, Carrie, social media, let's go with that. Then under the subcategory, what do you want? Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube? <laughs> I'm gonna go with TikTok. I'm sure you're all using it, right? But let's go with this. Let me show you why. If you choose TikTok, you get video ideas, script writer, hashtag generator, and post calendar. Have you been trying to create a process for social media? If I go back to Instagram, you get generate Instagram carousel, generate Instagram captions, and Instagram post calendar. Now, what keywords everywhere could have said video, they could have done some other options. But here's, here's the cool thing is, is you could go back to TikTok and even though you're using TikTok video ideas, you could still use these on Pinterest. You could use them on YouTube shorts. It still works. Now look what happened when I click TikTok videos. You can choose the language you want. Go ahead, try the other languages. So far, it is not giving me, it didn't give me Spanish, but when it didn't work, I just said rewrite this in Spanish without keywords everywhere and it worked. Then once you choose your language, what is your voice? How do you want to do this? How do you want to build it? So I'm going to go with hmm, hmm, enthusiastic. And then writing style. What is your writing style? So what, how do you want to build this? I like creative. Uh, you know, it could be instructive, like you're a real estate agent. And then what is your topic? This is the prompt. However, you need to put in a topic. So I want to create videos to help sellers understand now's a great time to sell maybe or i could put in rent versus own i could put in quick ways to upgrade your backyard space or how to renovate a property so let's just go let's go easy let's type in rent versus owning a home i'm just going to click execute why not right we're done, almost done. So you got all of these examples, title, rent versus owning, which one is right for you? Like it gave me ideas for a video. I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm going to, you could have put in, you know, in the keywords for in your template, we could have wrote in rent versus own with a title, with a description of the video and a hook. You could have done that, but if you didn't, you can also come back down here at the bottom and you can update what the content that was created. So I'm going to say update the video ideas with a intro, with a good hook, a video description. Or a, I got to think, I got to think, we're going to say video description, a 
the script, um, the script for video and a call to action to reach out via text, phone, or email, something like that. In a table view format. Boom. Scroll down. Catchy title, rent for versus own, right? Which one is right for you? Ready to level up your living situation? Hey, TikTok fam. Today we're diving into the age old debate, rent versus owning. Let's explore the pros and cons and find out which one is right for you. Now I'm gonna actually update the ad. Um, we're gonna say update this table with three to five tips based on the script. You like this? Then when I scroll down, what it's doing is I have my script. Well, where did it go? Where's my, where are my tips? I want my tips. Let's see. I need my tips. I didn't get my tips. Update the table with tips for each catchy title in the table format. I don't know, let's see if that works. Oh, it gave me the tips. I don't know, that's not what I'm looking for. It's, do you see how sometimes you got to really teach it? So I and so this is what I would do is I would take this one and I, you know, write, write three to five ideas based on these scripts. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we give it to him because you know I'm working this out right now. Yep, there it is. So here's the cool thing is it only gave me for gave me the information for idea one, but I could, I'll go back and tell it to give it to me, you know, update the tips for ideas one, two, five. Like you can go back here and, and get this to do what you want. You can get chat GPT to fix all of this. So now when you go, when you create your video, when you go live, you're gonna actually have the tips that you can talk about with your catchy title, You've got your hashtags, you've got your hook, you've got your script and your call to action, boom. So even though we used key, the keyword tool, so right, we downloaded keywords everywhere, install for Chrome or Firefox. Then we hopped over to ChatGPT and we used in the bottom left-hand corner the templates. Now, the great thing about using the templates is ChatGPT owned by OpenAI will kind of help you through the content. There you go. That is my quick tip for today. I will come back and maybe we'll talk about creating images via Canva. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to join me here on YouTube every week where I give you updates. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me over on Instagram.